Jackson Potter owns Outpost Campground Community near Clear Lake and uh, was part of our live broadcast when we were out there actually in August and is with us via Zoom today. Hi there. Hello, good morning. How are you feeling about all this? I, you know, certainly the, the writing's been on the wall for a little bit here around the zebra mussels being in the lake. Um, and and it, it is pretty disappointing, tough to deal with, but I think uh, it is some good news that they are going to be allowing boats back on the water. Um, it's uh, an important part for a lot of people that are up there and a lot of community members. And so at least having that back and yes, I think uh, the one boat, one lake policy does balance a little bit the, the risk and still making sure that people can enjoy the, the water, but um, certainly will there'll be lots of work ahead on mitigating some of the impacts there. Um, what do you foresee as some of the that some of the impacts could be, um, whether it's overall because there's zebra mussels or whether it's because of one boat, one lake? How might that affect people? Uh, I, I, it's it's pretty tough to predict, uh, you know, the full impact of, of what that might be. I think one boat, one lake, that was a policy that we had in 2023, and we still saw lots of people signing up for that, um, lots of people who were happy to commit to Clear Lake for the year. And so I think we'll still see that coming back. Um, and people, you know, cottage owners, um, residents, um, people that are, you know, a pretty integral part of the community. I think that's a big part of what they like about Clear Lake, being able to enjoy the, the full experience. And uh, it'll be good to be able to reassure them that that'll continue. How have zebra mussels already impacted your business, uh, Jackson, and others in the area that you're hearing about? I think uh, it's it's certainly created a lot of uncertainty, um, and it's it's difficult uh, for people to want to commit to the area or invest in the area when there's a lot of uncertainty around what the future might look like. Uh, and so I think it's really about making sure that you know people can see what the long term plans are for managing the zebra mussels, what it might mean for for them, and and uh, and providing that sense of security and people to invest in the area. Um, you know buy cottages or buy uh, spots to or visit and stay and um, buy businesses and invest in the community there. So I think uh, just the, the level of uncertainty has certainly been felt uh, among all business owners and a lot of the, the cottage residents as well and local residents. Um, so yeah, I think if we can get back to knowing what the, the long-term plan is and what we can expect and how we can work together on this, that'll certainly help things. Um, it's interesting thinking about August when there was still this hope when that curtain was going in, you know, it was August 1st and, and hoping something might work there. But yeah, people then were already skeptical. Um, I'm wondering what the overall sort of feeling is around how this um, how this all unfolded. I mean, it, it, it's difficult to say. I know there was a, a lot of work and a lot of effort put into trying to mitigate this. Um, it is something that, as far as I'm aware, has never been done before once usually once zebra mussels are discovered it's it's already too late um and so i think it, it was a, a pretty difficult undertaking and they they knew that but um felt it was it was worth it to try anyway and i you know i'm i'm glad that there there was that uh, commitment to to trying their best but um yeah i think it was just a really difficult undertaking so um, I'm not too sure what they could have done differently. You were talking about wanting to hear from plans, uh, plans moving forward this summer. I mean, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. around Lake Winnipeg, they, they literally go out in some places and have to scrape these off the beach. You haven't really seen that at Clear Lake. What what questions do you have about how things are going to be managed moving forward? I, I mean, lots of questions. Uh, you know, what uh, what can we expect those some of those management uh, strategies to look like? Um, what are there, will there be other restrictions put in place or uh, what can we expect um, in the long term? And I don't know that those questions have answers at the moment, but uh, I am hoping that, uh, you know, business owners, community members, um, residents can be brought into some of those conversations earlier on. And, and, uh, and I know they are asking for, or they're giving people an opportunity to share input and provide feedback and thoughts um, for the winter adventure weekend coming up up there. So I, I think as long as those can, those conversations continue to happen, um, that'll help to answer some of those questions. Uh, nice to see you via Zoom. Thank you very much for being part of the show today. Thank you very much.
Jackson Potter owns the Outpost Campground community near Clear Lake. Uh, if you want to read more about zebra mussels and how they've overtaken the lake, uh, you can read the article online. 